What are your Bibles are in the car? Uh, yeah, it's a pink one. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. I'm going to run in there and just grab a piece of paper. Well, 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 we got three viewers. Uh, yeah. We got to share. We got to share. I got to get some paper. put this on the door. We'll be ready. Hello, you three. One, two, three. Hello, Angie. I hope you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. All right. Has I couldn't hide it a little trouble getting on today. Everybody's better at your house, Angie. All right. Chris is still running around. I try to get everything ready. She's a go-getter too, boy. She does good. I'm doing good. Going to share this feed right quick. As soon as my phone charges up a little bit, I'll go ahead and share mine too. Okay. We're going to do a devotion here in a minute and get going. Got five folks watching. I think Scott's will shut down at six o'clock, right? Mm hmm. Yep. That's what we heard anyway. If it's not, if we're not correct, y'all let us know. But we heard um, that you were shut down here in the veal. Hit that like button for me, folks. No. It's Saturday with everybody off work and staying in the house. It's like every day is about the same. Yeah. Um, so we want to start off by saying we don't have the coronavirus. We are uh, completely healthy. A little off in the head, but you know. They can't help us with that. Right. Um, so, but we aren't, we aren't infected. We are taking proper precautions such as hand sanitizer uh, antibacterial hand soap, disinfectant. disinfectant. When we, if we do cough or sneeze, we don't do it on each other. We disinfect. So, um, anything else about that? Mm -mm. Are y'all losing come your in mind? Contact with nobody with the coronavirus either. We haven't been in contact with it. Right. What else? That's about it. Yeah. Um, we're ready for it to go away. Bleach, bleach, bleach. We got bleach. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Tawala. Um, I'm about done here. I run late for everything. My good friend Jeff points that out to me constantly that I'm always okay. late. I'm the same way, so yeah. we're going to have to get a little bit more organized. Let's run in the crystal lane. Yeah, that's the yeah, it must run in the official room. That's or the hamburgers, you know. Let's blame it on the hamburgers at least. <laughs> James says hi. Hello, James or Aubrey. But yeah, we'll blame it on the hamburgers. Yep. Ain't our fault. Too many in vitro hamburgers. All right. That'll work. Whoops.
All right. I got somebody asking where we're at. They're looking on Facebook. It's not on Facebook. It's on YouTube. So. I'm going to go ahead and go right and grab my phone. And uh, so I can share it to you. Okay. Real fast before we get started. And then I will do. Okay. So. You can, you can send it um, through Messenger on Christie's Place, Facebook, Betty Hendricks, if you have it. And if not, uh, then you can send, I will type in an email address and we'll, you can send it there. But I better get my email address. I've made a new one for just for this auction. So let me see what that was. Hmm. All right. So we can put on. Oh, shoot. Yeah, All right, she's coming right up there. Need to look, make sure I got it right. You don't hardly put your your email or phone number on anything, so well, I put my phone number on things. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, in the Bible, in my Bible, the it says that if we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, that all these things will be added to us. So instead of worrying too bad about the coronavirus or um, whatever new sicknesses come down the line, what we're going to do here is we're going to seek to put God first. And our first item of the night, the, the anything that we make off the first item of the night goes to John Carter. Uh, for right now, he's our local preacher. And we are going to be sending, giving him the, uh, anything made that we make off the little drummer boy that's coming up right after we, Read a little bit of God's Word. So we're going to be reading Jeremiah 31, verse 3. It's where we're going to take our devotion from today. And, you know, righteousness just means right. It just means doing what's right. It doesn't mean yeah. you don't got to be a, you know, real smart or, or highly educated to just do what's right. So the topic is, dear God, thank you. Thanks for thinking up love. Isn't it great to think up? Who would have thought love up? Because sometimes I wonder about the things God thought up, you know, like Putin. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not sure he thought him up. but uh, Well, I mean, well, he'd have no, to, yeah. no, I mean, letting one, you know, yeah. cutting the cheese. I mean, that's just funny. Right. You know, <laughs> and it's embarrassing. And, you know, I mean, it's like, what were you thinking, Pops? But we make it embarrassing, too. It's just a bodily function, but we make it embarrassing. Right, we do. So I'm going to start at verse number one. <clears throat> and I'll read until I stop. And it's thinking about love, thinking up love. Thank you, God, for thinking up love. At the same time, the Lord will be the God of all the families. I'm sorry. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord hath appeared of me unto appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness will I draw thee. 
Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built. O virgin of Israel, thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria, and the planters shall plant, and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchman upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise, and let us go up to Zion, and to the Lord our God. For thus saith the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, remnant of Israel. All right, and my book. All right, so we're going to read the little book. If the Dear God Kids, we'll probably read every one of them. It's, God has placed wonderful, special people in your life because he loves you. God's love is perfect. He's thought of everything. Now, all you have to do is love him back and love others too. It, it is that easy. For real, it is that easy. You will get all the blessings and guidance you need from God. I just by Thank you, God, for loving me enough to put all these special people in my life. The Lord hath appeared to old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. And that's Jeremiah 31 3. Thank you for Grandpa. He can fix anything. My Grandpa th thought he could. Thank you for Grandpa. When you think of Grandpa, do you see fishing poles, a football, or a funny hat? Your grandpa's a wise man. He's lived a long time and has learned a lot. God wants us to be wise too. God told King Solomon that he would bless him with whatever he wanted. Solomon could have asked for money or a big house. Instead, he asked for wisdom. God was pleased with his answer, and in return, he blessed him with wisdom and many good things. The glory of young men is their strength, and the honor of old men is their gray hair. Proverbs 20, 29. See, all you old guys that have gray hair, that is your wisdom. <laughs> We will never look at you quite the same again. Dear God, I've got the best dad. I do have the best dad. God put your dad in your life to love, teach, and support you. Dads work hard so you and your family can have food, clothing, and shelter. Daddy shows his love by the way he cares for you. Did you know that you have two daddies? Yes, God's your heavenly daddy. He loves you too. He protects you from evil and he watches out for you. I'm lost. <laughs> you are blessed to have an earthly daddy and a heavenly daddy. Be sure to tell your daddy that you love him. While you're at it, let your heavenly father know that you love him too. But now, O oh Lord, thou art our father. We are the clay and thou art the potter. And we all are the work of thy hand. And sometimes, that's Isaiah 64, 8. Sometimes being on that potter's wheel is not fun. Thanks for mom. What would your mornings be like without your mom? Who'd be there to wake you up, make you breakfast, and smother you with kisses? The world functions better because of love and compassion of mommies. God has blessed us with mothers and fathers. He tells us to obey and respect our parents. The next time mom tells you to pick up your toys or fold the towels or eat your vegetables, make sure you obey. Your mother knows what's best for you. Think of it this way. By obeying your mom, you're obeying God. Ephesians says, children, do what is right. Honor, children, obey your parents, for this is right. Honor thy mother and thy father, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord giveth thee. Exodus 20, 1 through 2. That's one of the commandments. First one with promise. Mm -hmm. Dear God, thank you for friends. And that's what our last devotion was. You can go to a friend when you're having a good day or a bad day. Friends are wonderful gifts that God has put in your life for support and fun. Friends will pass in and out of your life. But there's one friend who will stick with you forever. God. God wants to be your best friend. You can confide in him and tell him secrets. Everything in your life will be much better when you ask God to be your best friend. A man that has friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And that's Proverbs 18, 24. And that's right. If you want to have friends, be a friend. That's the best way to get friends. And like last week or uh, Thursday night, was it Thursday night room? I had... Um, an old friend, Twala, with me. And me and her have been friends for a long time. And tonight I've got a new friend, Crystal. I hadn't met her very long ago. But I prayed for her before I met her. When her brother passed away, I, I mm -hmm. some friends had asked that I keep her, them, this family in my prayers. So I've been praying for you a long time. Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes friends is the only thing that can get you through life. Right. You know, sometimes friends are the only shoulder you have to cry on. Right. And they, sometimes they, they're closer to you than family. Right. You know, it doesn't take blood to be family. We figured that out. Um, little kids will tell you all the time if people would realize we're just all family because if God's our father, 
then we're all brothers and sisters. Yeah, Yeah. you're right. And, you know, sometimes we don't like our brothers and sisters, and sometimes we do. Right. (laughs) Dear God, thank you for pets, even wet ones. Ooh, I've got a neat pet. We've got a neat pet out here. We've got a deer. So she's a pretty fun pet to have. Yeah. Bam, bam. <laughs> she thinks she's a deer in dog's clothes. I mean, a dog in deer's clothes. That's what it is. Yeah. Dear God, thank you for pets, even the wet ones. Cats and dogs are great friends and companions. They make you laugh and keep you entertained. You take you take good care of your pets because you love them. Just as you are the master of your pet, God is the master of us all. He created you and he will guide you through your life. Your pet trusts you to feed and shelter it. You can put your trust in God. He will always take care of you. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arms and carry them into his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Isaiah 40 and 11. Oh, isn't that cool? It is. It's cute. We got it. Yeah, it is. They are. They're really a cute series. Mm -hmm. Dear God, thank you for teachers. Oh, thank you. Ain't that right? I got some teachers in my life that have made a big difference. Right. It's a privilege to learn important subjects like history, writing, and math. Teachers work hard to help you understand this information. Teachers instruct you in school topics, but the greatest subject you can ever learn is the word of God. The Bible will help you have a close relationship with God, and God has promised that he will help you learn. By praying and studying God's word, you can be a student of the best teacher of all God. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. In the book of Timothy, Paul cautions Timothy to study, to show yourself approved, a workman unto God that doesn't need to be ashamed. And I believe if God's telling us to study, there's probably going to be a test. So we're going to study. So that's just thanking God for everybody and for love. You know, we love in different ways. There's the Eros love, there's Philadelphia love, and then there's Agape love, which is God's love. And I think that's a lot like the parents have for children, too, that I believe that God gave us parents to show us his love, to teach us what it's like to love somebody. That being said, let's pray. You want to leave it there? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> We're going to pray and then we'll get right on to our auction. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for another day and an opportunity to stand in your presence, Lord Jesus. We ask you to bless each person that's represented here today in their homes and their family. And Lord, above that, just their city. Lord, bless us all, Lord. Bring us out of this condition that we've got ourselves in in this country and in this world. And Lord, you know all about it, Father. You know what's wrong and right and ins and outs. And we just ask you to be with us and give us a safe place and a refuge in our time of trouble. We thank you and we glorify you and we praise you for love in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's sell something. All right, I got a little drummer boy. He is looks like maybe missing a drumstick. I don't know. Uh, he was given to us by Evie Jewel. And uh, they brought him up yesterday for us to sell. So everything that, that we make on him today, we're going to start with a, we're going to go ahead and start with a $5 starting bid on him. Anything we make on him will go to John Carter. He pastors Foundation Baptist Church here in Scottsville. Great little church, great people. Uh, I'm going to get him up here so I can show you the card on his arm. He's a Joseph Studio. And he is a cool dude. Roman Incorporated. So it's Joseph Studio. The little drummer boy need a five dollar starting bid, please. And we are going to eventually figure out where we need our camera and all that yeah, good all stuff. That <laughs> so because we have got limited space in here, but we're we're working on it. We are a work in progress. Oh, they! I'm not going to sing. I was going to sing, but y'all might start logging off. No, playing <laughs> I'm just Dumb kidding. Up, yes. no. All right, Joseph Studio, though. the little drummer boy. I don't want him to log off. We only got 15 now. <laughs> but everybody share, share, share. We are give, we're going to do a giveaway once a month. And Crystal and I are trying to come up with some gimmicks, some uh, different prizes and funny things. And see that. So we're looking for $5. There's a pink ribbon behind her head. Uh, we've got that. Both of our mothers are breast cancer survivors. Um, they've battled it more than once and our mama's kicked butt. That's right. So, if so, for our mamas, we wouldn't be here. But that's something that touches us and uh, we know another mother that's got breast cancer and that she's a little more private and doesn't, I don't think, want it public And uh, but we're praying for her. Oh, bless her so much. Mm. All right. I'm not getting any bids on the drummer boy. We're going to put him back again. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set a clock on him for a minute, Crystal. All right. I got you. 
Look, I'm going to show y'all. God is really good. I said the uh, last auction, I needed timers. Flower bed ornament. And these Nothing were else. both, there was two of them in with the stuff that Sammy and brought. <laughs> Rizzo's going to break it back there. No, I oh, I got a $2 bid. Twelve. we need a $5 starting bid on him, honey. Goes for John Carter. My hair's still a little wet from the shower. Yeah. We tried to hurry up and cram too much stuff into one thing. This ain't going to be on the top shelf. Oh, see, I didn't know that. All right, just set it to the side. I'm all right. Oh, you're soon fine. learn all you're this. You're fine. You're <laughs> fine. You're fine. Uh, we got some holes in there where we got some glass work coming up. All right. I got, I, I had $2 from 12 of nothing else. All righty. Okay, I think we're ready to pull it back up toward the top of this. All right, next games. Get this. Next, I think here I got your games. Okay. Crystal's wrote us down a lineup a little bit to help her. Just to start okay, off. I need two of them that aren't together so I can yeah, show yeah. them. All right. So now it's stick the drum boy back over there. Is that the same two? Look at yes, it is. Oh, uh, it was the same two. Okay. So right now we next up. We're gonna do some video games. I think I got eight, uh, seven deals, six deals. Six deals. We're gonna start the bid at five dollars for both of them. Saints Row and The Walking Dead. Crystal's 14-year-old nephew says they are awesome games. He likes them. He knows more about that stuff than I do. So we got two of them there. The Walking Dead and Saints Row. And we're going to sell them one money. Start and bid $5. You want to shut Just come up there. No, I mean, no. Yeah, actually, in like, this oh. door is what I'm talking about. All right. All right. $5 starting bid on both games, selling them one money. If you're a reseller, this would be a good deal for you. They're going for about $15.20 on eBay. They are hot games right now. Is what? They're for Xbox 360, and I have one copy of Saints Row that's a PS3 game. Yeah, and both of them won money. Got the clock set for one minute. I need to come here and show you, but it's not letting me log into my stuff on here. Right. We've had issues with electronics today. We have. We'll get it together. We're just starting out. $5 starting bid. Any resellers out there? All right. We need to bring to a box set of the Wii next. Okay. Try it. To the Wii game? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're not getting a bit. It doesn't look like. Okay. Then the DS. Where's the Wii game? Do you know? The big box. box These right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty. It didn't go very loud, but it stopped. The timer stopped. Mm -hmm. It goes back. Yes, All right. Now we got a Wii Fit. It's for uh, Wii Fitness World Party, and it's for the Zumba. Well, oh. Here, Crystal. Okay. I'll do it for just a minute. Hi, Blake. It is a Wii Blake. game. Blake. 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 We're live. We're live, I said we're live. All righty, so let's do a two dollar start bid on this on the Zumba. It does come with a fitness belt. Zumba, you know, that's a really good exercise in summer coming up. Baby oh, it is time, good, it's you know? very good. I did it, I like it. We should oh, do it. We should do it. We, <laughs> we got, should do kickboxing well, we can't, at least. We can't do this because we don't have a wee, but we can do Tabo. We can do Tabo. Yeah. It comes on DVDs. All right, and all you gotta do is have a DVD player. Or 
We're trying to figure out where we can throw up our bodies. <laughs> yeah. How am mad? We can all of it. Probably, you know, use a little help here. Yes. All right, this comes with the fitness belt. Switch your middle. <laughs> and well, I think you put your actually you put your controller in there in the pocket. And we have the whole time. six, seven, seven copies of this. And we're gonna start a bid at two dollars for some fitness. I tell you what, as long as you're moving, you don't gotta get the moves right. I used to get up an hour early and hide and do it. Yeah, hide and watch, huh? Yeah. All righty, I'm going. To, I've got the clock set on that one. I don't got you flavored or not. Oh, so we're gonna do. Let's do the purse next. Okay. We're gonna cut purses next. See what we can do on that. It's a really, it is a lot of spring colors in there, too. It's a nice little spring color. Thank you, Betty Hendricks. And you said you were in Georgia, I believe, didn't you? All right, pull that back. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay. I'll get them in just a second. And first, right? Yep. All right, honey, money. All right. That was Mike too. Okay, next up we have got a sack roof. Did I say that? Yeah. Purse. It, Betty bought a satchel that kind of crossbody satchel that looks a lot like it. Got a little effing on it. Same brand as she bought the other night. It's got some room in there, different compartments. You got a little book in here. I'm not sure what the book's about. Talks about the company. Zipper pocket on the back. And let's have a $3 starting bid on the purse. It's brand new. Tag still on it. It's worth $3. It's Absolutely. pretty spring. It's got all your spring colors in it and go good with a spring dress. Is it genuine leather? It looks like it, it would be, be pretty. It would be pretty with, the, with your spring. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. It smells like leather. Let's see. Like yeah, look on the tag. It almost looks like it is leather. I'm not sure. It smells but like it too, and I like the smell of leather. I do too. It smells so, I don't know, clean. I, don't, I just wrote my own post on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook to post it because I can't, I can't log on enough. Right. So, gotcha. For some reason. That doesn't say whether it's leather or not, but it does smell leather. Yeah. And it's, it's got really a leather feel to pockets, it. Pockets, multi pockets. I like elephants, and it's got the elephants because I thought about keeping it, and then I thought, well, I'm afraid I won't carry it. I got a two dollar bid from Twala. Okay, okay two. Okay. I don't. I don't remember exactly. Forty dollars enough. I knew it wasn't a cheap purse. So we're at. We got two dollars. I think I said three dollars starting bid, but. We'll take the two. I, I needed three dollars. It's well worth that. It's got a very pretty purse. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got that. Pockets. It's got the hand straps and the shoulder strap. Really pretty. The glass here or the egg? Mm -hmm. Easter thing. All right. Let me set my clock. In two minutes. Two dollars starting bid. Twelve, would you give three? Because I said three to start with.
What's it say on her arms? Whose arms? Mine. It says, just be happy. Just be happy. It is in remembrance of my daddy. Every time he would call me, he would, my mom would call him fussing whenever I was younger and about anything and everything. And he would say, baby girl, are you happy? And just be happy. Oh. So he was always there for me. And after he passed away, yeah, I got the tattoo. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna about to sell this first for two dollars. See, I'll throw the other yeah, dollar in. About to walk away with a forty dollar purse for two dollars. Going once, two dollars going twice. It's all about that. Two dollars going to swallow. All right, okay, eggs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right there. All right, y'all. Easter's next weekend. Just next yep, weekend. it's the next weekend. I've okay, been next weekend is Easter. So we've got some pretty colored Easter eggs. Or, uh, I guess they're stone, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to sell them um, one money. It's or whatever no. you want to do. Let's do. Let's do them one money. Out of six, I think. Well, this one down here has got. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll count shade. that. We'll just put, throw that one in for free. So, this one will be free. And then we're going to sell these. One money. Let's start, do a start bid of $3. Three dollars. Three dollars is our starting bid on these. A lot of six. That's about fifty or a lot of five. With we're gonna throw one in. That's about uh, less than a dollar an egg. Mm -hmm. It's gonna say fifty cents, but it's not. They're pretty. Oh, I got four dollars from Sammy Stinson. They are pretty. Uh, I heard that if you put these in your yard or in your flower bed, that it will uh, keep something out of your flower bed. Probably some kind of bug or something. Snakes, like maybe. Maybe. If you do something about snakes, it'll do something with snakes. Uh, Angie, do you have the phone number that they can also text and they can message us at uh, Christie's Place on Messenger? I'm at $4 looking for five. This has got little, it's pretty. That's pretty. I like that color. It is. Too. It's almost tribal these two, too. These kind of match. Yeah, they're kind of tribal. Little different, but they're they're pretty, pretty, pretty eggs. And I'm at four dollars with Sammy Stinson looking for five. I'm going once. Four dollars looking for five going twice. I'm at four dollars. I'm looking for five. Third and final call. Amy Stinson. All right. I'll write it on there. We'll get it ready for him. The Bible. Let's do the bingo. The Bible bingo. Okay. Uh -huh. Or did you have the rabbit next? I didn't put nothing else. We didn't go no okay. farther. I didn't know how we were. All right. We're Bible bingo, folks. Um, let's do a buy it now on this for a dollar. First one it says me, we're gonna buy it for a dollar. It is Bible Bingo. If you like bingo, you can do Bible Bingo. I do, Landon. Uh, as a matter of fact, we had some decals just a few minutes ago we were looking at. So I'm at one dollar. Anybody one dollar buys it now? I'll do you buy it? Yeah. One dollar. One dollar. Buy it now. Got the timer set for one minute. Bible bingo. Did you say you give $75 for it, Blake? Going. My time is almost up. I'm on the dollar. Buy it now for one dollar. And we glass where did we have the glass down? 
No, uh, we didn't have write any of it, but we have some right here. Or you want to do green or orange? We're gonna we're gonna try to do that as a okay. set, but we're probably okay. We're gonna set it up in just a minute. Okay, that's fine. Lisa's treasure. I got you, Lisa. Lisa Young. Lisa, Lisa Young. Okay. How much did it go for? One dollar. That okay. was a buy it now. Uh. All right. Let's do. How many we got to do? Uh, there was only one other one, but you can do two, two. There's two other two no, of them. That, no, one other one other than that one. Okay, so we got two. There's a lot total. of two. Yes. Okay. Well, there. Well, okay. I got two of these guys, and we're gonna do loud pipes save lives. Jesus save souls. It's a pretty thing. You you bought one, right? You got one. Yeah, I was okay. gonna get one, but uh, no, that was within the two. There was only two all together. All right. Uh, let's uh, start bid of a dollar. That's worth a dollar. Jesus absolutely saves souls. No other name under heaven given whereby men must be saved. No sweeter name either. Loud pipes save lives. Anybody interested for a dollar? Lyndon O'Neill says one dollar. I've got one dollar. Do I hear two? For Loud pipe save lives and Jesus save souls. Got the what is that bob wire like deal mm -hmm. on the bottom? It almost looks like an, a chopper, a yeah. chopper bike, kind of with the flames and stuff. It's kind of painted up like a chopper. Got iron. No, we don't. Mm -mm. Uh, is this? I think this. I thought maybe it was a window decal. Is it a no iron on? Mm. I believe it's a sticker of some kind. And I'm at one dollar going once, one dollar going twice. Sell that to Landon O'Neill for one dollar. Okay. Let's have some of this uh, marigold. Okay. The, the marigold. The glass, the orange okay. colored glass. And that's Landon. How many do you want, honey? We'll do that. I think we had six pieces of this. Mm -hmm. All right. We have two of them. Do you just want one or do you want both of them, Landon? Let me see here. There you go. I'm going to make y'all sick. I'm going to move this camera a little bit. Okay, give me the other ones that are this color. Okay. We get a, uh, we're going to ask for the start bit on this. We do have a little bit. That's, I that's think that's different. a little lighter. See, I, I'm not good I'm with not, yet. I'm not good with shades myself so much. Okay, is this Landon wants one? both of those. Two of them. Mm -hmm. There's two more of them. There's another one just like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to, we're going to ask for a $50 starting bid. Like this. Uh, are these the same color? They have no chip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's one more like this. Whoop, well, I'm gonna sit this down till we get it all set up. One more like that. Okay. Uh, I'm not over there. Before I make everybody sick. We're gonna ask for a fifty dollar starting bin. Oh, you okay? Lord have mercy. All right. Okay, so Landon wanted both of those decals, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. So is that all that we got of this color? Yes, I do believe. That's everything over there. Okay. Those are different, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yes. All right. Show you this, it, and I've got one. yeah, there it is. Okay, those are very pretty, they are be good to put some candy no in. chips, cracks, flea bites. The camera is not focusing uh, right, it doesn't seem. Let me see. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. We're gonna have to, she's doing great. Bear we're gonna set us. something on this camera by next option, uh huh. So Not sure what this is a cabbage rose pattern. They're the same color, but not the same patterns. Probably not right now because there's not we don't have enough people. 
This is a, I don't know, it's got grapes on it. On this one. This is uh, a pretty little pattern. Maybe marigold. Little toothpick holder. And then those, I'm not sure what they are. I think these might have been hostess gifts for home interior, actually. Mm -hmm. They look like a candy dish. Yeah, they are. Um, good to put some peppermints in. I need a $50 opening bid to sell them as a set. Get everything. All of one. How many pieces is it? All Six together? pieces. Six pieces. That's a good deal. Six pieces. Well worth it. Need a $50 starting bid. Hi, Geneva Cornwall. And it's all one money. We get the $50 starting bid. This is the Jeff and PK's things. And they have some more glassware too. And we'll be putting, if not, we'll put it up another night. Very pretty set. Very pretty color too. Yeah. Oh, we miss you too, Geneva. $50 starting bid. Got the timer set. I think that I saw a marigold. Is, it was the same color and they kept calling it marigold. So I'm not sure, but it's a very pretty color. The camera doesn't do it justice, of course. It's very shiny looking whenever you get it off camera. Mm -hmm. The light just listens off of it, really. All right. I don't know if I don't have any glass bars or if they just don't want this set. And there are a couple different patterns represented here. Got this one is the same as the toothpick holder. All righty, we're going to pull that back. No mm -hmm. sale. All right. We got something next. Um, whatever you like. Um, do you want to do like, what would you like to do? Same thing we hadn't done before. Um, how about a antique gift tin? Uh, okay. Let's try that. Well, All right, it does. just come in. All right, we got an old antique gas pan i did sell the rest of the oil cans this afternoon so what start with? on the gas can plate on the gas can no on that oh what about the can in here the oil can okay whatever you want to start it off with. okay we're going to start the start off we're going to start bid at three dollars on the antique gas pan oil can oil pan what is it, a gallon yeah it's one gallon can Ooh, it's Pretty neat. Pretty dirty. It's very pretty for like a kitchen or. Are you going to do this and I'll get it? No, no, no. You go ahead. I'm not good at the camera yet. All right. What did I say? A $2 starting bid or three? Three. $3 starting bid. Ooh. Rust is, we're going to throw that rusty in there free. It's not going to cost you any extra. Three dollars is a starting bid. And I'm gonna set the clock. Um that phone we have a lot a hard time with signal, Edna. Um I will do. I, I think I've got you on Messenger. Three dollars is our start bid. Thank you, honey. You're welcome.
I had to wet my whistle. It's getting a little dry. I can see why. <laughs> I was supposed looking to for three dollars, and I'm going once, going twice. What did you say that the extra pins were? Sell that. Um, sell it for. I mean, not sell okay. it. Pull it back. Just continue. Okay. Pull it back. Okay. 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 What we got? We got anything? Let's do some knife. Let's try a knife. I'm going to try a knife. Well, okay. we tried the other one. We got a bit on. Okay, did you? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just trying to help you. Let's right. do a knife, knife, knife. I'm not sure what this one is. This is an anvil. An anvil. Triple blade. It's real quick. What are you looking for? Her? My pen? Oh, never mind. It's my bike. Here's one right here. <laughs> Here's a bunch right here. I got some. Yeah. It's a triple blade anvil. Looks like it has been sharpened. Everybody gets all paranoid when I get knives out. They're afraid I'm going to cut something. Like them or me. Uh, can you put my phone number for the my phone? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What is your phone number? Two seven zero. Okay. So tell me if it's going. Yep. Right. Uh, nine four three. Uh, let's have a, a ten dollar start bid on that. And uh, uh, hold on. Let me backspace, and I'm gonna just at least put a space. Nine four three. Nine. Four, Sammy, I'll take the eight dollar start bid. Uh, oh seven eight five. And the brown. Call me on this that number that's just got posted, please. Uh, right after we go off, or when I take a break and let Crystal do. <laughs> I'm at eight dollars. I'm looking for nine on the anvil pocket knife. I'm at ten with Landon O'Neill. Twelve with Sammy Stinson. These guys like knives. And they know if I do me right, and I'll put another couple up. I got a couple more. You've had some really good name brand knives, though. I mean, last week you showed that uh, kissing crane, and I that know. was really good. It's a good knife. Buck mm -hmm. is really. This good. is a. That it was an older buck too. This mm -hmm. is a um, case. Yeah. It's a case. Good legs. Mm-hmm. To junior, um, I can't remember. Yeah, case double X, and I think that might be like a um bone handle, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty I'm not sure. sure. Maybe some of the guys, whenever you do show it, yeah, they'll know. They'll know more. <laughs> yeah, agree. I'm at twelve dollars and Landon's out. Thank you for bidding, sir. I'm looking for thirteen. On the anvil pocket knife, three blade. I'm gonna shut these blades. I'm looking for 13 going once. 12 bucks. 13 going twice. Looking for 13. Third and final call. Sammy Stinson. Um okay. the, where's the baggie? I got it right okay. over here. I'll just stick that in. Yep, stick I'll stick it in the bag. Okay. And we'll put a note on it. Okay. All righty. We'll go ahead and do a different kind of knife. Granddad's old timer. Good brand knife. Old timers are good brands. My son has a very big knife collection. He has like 300 knives and he's eight years old. Every year we've got him multiple knives and he just loves them. He has the, one of the, yeah. This is a shrade. My nephew's got some knives. Mm -hmm. He likes them too. Let's have a $10 starting bid on this one.
it's been around a little while. But if you had one of the little buffer things, you could probably buff that uh, blade to look new. Mm -hmm. And I'm at ten dollars with landing. All right, Sammy, y'all gonna have to come and get dig in your pocket for that one. But I'll put it up next. I'm at eleven with Sammy. On the shrade. These are mine. We are a consignment auction, so we have to occasionally tell whose things are we're selling so that way we can keep up with it and everybody gets their money. And I'm at twelve dollars. I'm looking for thirteen on the straight old timer, granddad's old timer. I'll be right back, okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you want here a few, you can take a break and I'll try to I'll try. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be perfect at this. Whoop. Sammy is out. And Landon's in at $12. I'm looking for $13. It's a good buy. $12 looking for $13. Going once. I am at $12 looking for $13. Going twice. 12 looking for 13. Third and final call. That's going to be Landon O'Neill. Okay. And 13 on that, right? Or was it 12? Uh, th 12 on that. Okay. All right. They want, the, they want me to put the case up. This is a case. Double X. It's a junior, and I can't remember. It doesn't really look like a junior to me. It's kind of bigger than the ones I saw, but the number on it is. I'm gonna let Crystal see it. She but her eyes are better than mine. I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it. But I will sure give it a whirl. It she is. gonna look and see right quick. 5139, it looks like. No, it's a 3139. 3139. We're gonna have a let's have a fifteen dollar starting bid on it, guys. It's well worth that. <laughs> Made in the USA. $15 starting bid. I got 15 from Sammy first. 16 from Landon. Is it a bone handle, guys? Side buster. I believe that's what it is. I believe it was a sod buster. And that's case, right? Case double X. Mm -hmm. okay. 20 with Sammy. There you go, guys. Well worth it. Oh, yeah. I'm at $20 looking for 21. On the old sod buster here. Is it a bone handle? Do we not? They never did know. say, did they? Mm -mm. We're not sure. Y'all can tell us. $22 from Sammy. I didn't call Landon's because it's Sammy coming out behind him. Yep. Sammy's not playing any games. He really wants this knife, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put the last in that, too. Might as well. See what it is. What the maker is. I'm at $22 looking for $23. That is pretty. A cult. I hope maybe that would focus in on it. Let's see what we got going on. $26. We're at $26 with Sammy looking for $27. Like, I don't 
a very pretty knife. I'm at twenty-seven dollars with Landon. The land, the handle is just kept very well. I mean, yeah, it, it has been kept really well. This has never been sharpened, guys. Doesn't look like it's ever had a, a knife, uh, wet rock on it. Doesn't have an edge, really. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. Never been sharpened. I'm at thirty dollars with Sammy Stinson. Thirty one with Landon. Just let you guys bid it until you one of you's out. <laughs> Thirty two with Sammy. Sammy trying to run back in there. <laughs> now Crystal's mad at Sammy, so she might be a little biased. No, I was just saying he how he really wants the knife. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That looks like what he wants. <laughs> You get it. I'm looking for $33. I got $35 with Landon. There you go. He said, not today, Sammy. Sammy's out. Thank you for bidding. I got $35 going once. $35. Thirty-five dollars going twice. It's a fifty-dollar knife, Landon said. Thirty-five dollars, third and final call. I'm gonna sell that to Landon. Thirty-five dollars. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? All right, let's do this last pocket knife. What did we say it was? It's a Colt. A Colt. Mm -hmm. It's a there. Here's a Colt pocket knife. They're sure good with guns. I don't know how they do with knives, but it is a Colt. It's a pretty knife. I don't believe. I don't know that this has been sharpened. Yeah, maybe it has. I don't know. I don't know if it's been sharpened or not. I need a, let's do a $10 start and bid on it. No, let's do a $5 start and bid on it. I don't even know. I might be giving it away. I don't know. They don't make Colts anymore. Great name brand, they saying. So I should have went ahead and stayed with the $10. <laughs> Can't get a Colt anymore, and I just need a $5 start and bid on it, guys. We'll put a minute on the clock. If nobody bids, we'll pull it back. We do. I do have some belt buckles. We'll do them next. Unless Crystal's got something else down. No. Nope. What everywhere? Come to do. You keep me on track over there, though. I'm a try. I know it's hard. No, it ain't too hard. Hard work. Well, I'm used to the hard work. All right. Sammy Stinson's in at 10. Looking for 11. Sammy, I might have just gave you a call. <laughs> I'm at 10. There's Landon, and he says 11. Looking for 12. Got 15 people watching, and we appreciate all 15 of you. Tell your friends. Make sure you get registered with us to bid. And like I said, we're going to give away once a month. We're going to take a give away a percentage of all the month's sales. And uh, we're just going to do it once a month instead of doing it every time. That way somebody can win big. I'm at 15 with Landon. I'm at $15. I'm looking for 16 18 with Sammy Stinson. Woo-wee. He is not playing. 
Looking for 19. Now we're up to 18 people. We appreciate them too. Yep. Y'all come on in there. We'll start saying praise Jesus every time and yeah, maybe like, he'll it, just like that keep $25. He will. $20 with Landon. We advertise as yard sale prices. We're going to start doing some yard sale type auctions where we have $5, $3 buy it nows and we're going to just sell everything. $22 with Sammy Stinson. Thank you for sharing, Twala. We are a consignment auction. So if anybody has things they'd like to sell, I sell local people. Um, $23 with Landon. But Mike from all the way over in Texas sends me boxes of stuff to, to sell for him. So. We'll sell it. We'll work on it. We'll talk to you about what you got and work out a commission price for you. I'm at $25 with Sammy Stinson. Well, these calls must be, and I, and I started at $5. Bid. All right. I don't know a lot about knives. Y'all have to, y'all could really get me if you were mean like that. Thank you for bidding, Landon. Sammy's at $25 and Landon's out. I am looking for 26 going once. I'm at $25. Looking for 26 going twice. 25 looking for 26. Third and final call. We're going to sell that to Landon. Landon no, right. no, no. I'm sorry. Sammy Stinson. Oh, my bad. Landon was the one that went out. And we're 25? Mm-hmm. $25, yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Let's sell the Eagle Dagger. Got comes with the Eagle Scabbard. How do you say that? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. It is a... I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a pretty knife. It looks like it's about business. It's got an Indian head on it. Uh-huh. But I don't, I can't make out the writing. I can't either. I wish I could. Hold mm -hmm. on. I got an idea. Very pretty, pretty, pretty knife. I need a pencil, really. You ain't got a pencil over in a cup, do you? We have been lying. Not a pencil. I've got a pen. Uh, kind of needs to be a pencil. You can take a pencil and something like this. You can rub over it with a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it'll bring that visible. Nice. It's something way. Thank you, Twala. Twala's auction start is Wednesday night at, I forgot what time, six maybe? Tell me what time you start Wednesday night. Wednesday the 8th. C-H-I. And I am at $10. Are you bidding $10 on this, Twala? If she is, I'm at ten dollars and about to start my countdown. Mm, it's very pretty, though. I mean, at six, her auction starts at six. All right, Twelve. Let me know if you bid the ten on this. It is real pretty, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's kind of heavy. Very well made knife. It looks like the blade is really thick. And that sucker is sharp. I, I don't know what it is. It's like a dagger, I guess. I'm at eight dollars with Sammy Stinson. Oh, twelve is already at ten. Sammy, I need a eleven. Keep you in the game. I thought she was at ten. Eleven. We will ship if you register with us. Uh, we'll take PayPal. Um. And we will ship anywhere in the United States. And we'll just look. Uh, Mike turned me on to pirate ship. And they give me the best shipping everywhere. And we'll. $12 with Twala Martin. Um, we'll. Sh we'll the, the cheapest shipping. You pay your own shipping. We don't charge you handling. Just shipping. 
I'm at twelve dollars, but you have to register first. Somebody um put up the information about registering, please. And I'm at twelve dollars with Twala. Sammy's out. Thank you for bidding, sir. I'm at twelve dollars going once. Twelve dollars going twice. Third and final time, twelve dollars. Sell that to Twala Martin, please. Okay. We have it broke down. All right, now let's change gears and see what we got now. Yeah. Belt buckles. Twala wanted some belt to see some belt buckles. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, do you want me to rob a cooler in here that we've got? I just want to try this that one. What that big one? Yeah. Maybe that'd be good for outside. You know, yeah. summer is coming. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do that. All right, folks, we're going to sell choice on the belt buckles. I've got a buffalo. Pretty interesting looking guy there. He says something in there. I can't really see it all that well. I have a clipper ship. And I'm selling choice on them, folks. I'm not sure what this is a symbol for. So y'all tell me what that's for. Yeah. You may know what that's a symbol for. Hello, Nathan. How are you tonight, sir? Thank you for bidding, Twala. And I am at $4 with Sammy on choice. And here's an eagle. How did that sign out? Yeah, I'm going to be coming. Huh? $5 for Landon. Okay. On choice. Choice on the four. <laughs> I turned around and I was like, That would be really good for like a pool deck no. or a man cave. <laughs> Damn, what does he want to start doing on that? 25. And I'm at six dollars on choice on the belt buckles with Sammy. Six dollars. Oh, we miss you too, Nathan. I'm at six dollars going once. So, uh, Lena, you'll be my backup bidder. $6 going twice. $6 third and final call. Sammy, which ones would you like, Coin? I have a little jewelry. I have some men's jewelry. We're going to sell... All four of them. Sammy takes all four of them. 
for six dollars each okay i will put them in a bag one there's one. his uh -huh. the bags that go with each one of them mm -hmm. all right let's see about some Oh, let's do this cooler first. Yeah. All right, guys. We have a bush. It's a barrel top cooler. It's even got the top. Let's see if I can it's got Kevin Harvick. The number. Kevin Harvick is the number. Number four. Okay. I'll just have the camera. Yeah. Moving. Be good for a man cave pool deck. Yeah. Got some tailgating going on. Whatever you want to do. It's not very heavy. It does. It is on wheels. And I need a $25 starting bid on this, guys. I don't know about shipping it. I guess That'd we could, but it, it's going to it probably cost something to ship this, guys. So for you local people, anybody interested? Well, I'm trying to, trying to show all of this feature. We're trying, yeah, we're trying to show it all off here. Got the bush emblem on the side here. Remember back during the ice storm, Bush and Anheuser, um, Budweiser both um, made water, uh, put water in their cans. They didn't make water, but <laughs> got the spout on the back of it to let your water out. I can't get it to see that because it's too dark in here. We need to bring that lamp in here next time. Yes, ma'am. We can sure do it. Oh, where is it at? Anyway, it's got a spout on there to, to let your water out. And I need a $25 starting bid on that. My beautiful sidekick is another crystal. Oh, well, thank you. Far from beautiful, but thank you, thank you. You are beautiful. All right, guys. Landon O'Neill says it's his driver will bid on this bed on this. Big old Kaler here. Nathan says hello, Crystal. Hello, how are you? Kevin Harvick. And a twenty-five dollar starting bid. We're gonna put a minute on the clock. We are just at the yeah. Okay. And we are at one hour and twelve minutes. Uh huh. So we'll be looking for the next, the last item pretty quick. Okay. All right, we need a twenty-five dollar starting bid. Well worth it. It'd be good to put some ice in on a pool, on a pool deck, a man cave, wherever. It's probably even a collector's item with the bush and the... Right, and it, that's got wheels, so it is easy to roll around. Easy access. You know, you'd be the hit of the party if you showed it's up with this sucker to pool. Drain it, uh, I tried to show that while ago, but it's too dark. Yeah, no, right. We need some more lighting in here, apparently. Mm-hmm. We got, I got that lamp in the bedroom. We'll bring it in. Mm-hmm. We got some ugly ties too. <laughs> we we had to mention those. We got some ugly ties. They've been in our way all day. Anybody welcome to them? <laughs> no point. All right, y'all. There we go. So notes from we didn't get a starting bit on that. We'll keep it till yeah, later on. I'm gonna go ahead and push it out. I'll okay. Here that way. We Next up, I have and this. These are brand new in the box. We have the box with them. Lordy be. You can pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Yes, sir, you can. All right, y'all. We have a size 11 stainless steel and Austrian crystals men's ring size 11. And that is pretty, y'all. There we go. That focused in. Very beautiful. Stainless steel. I need a, a $15 starting bid on it. Does that sound fire to you guys? Uh, rolling picker. Sammy says five. 
What y'all think, guys? This is this came from Texas, so we're gonna. I don't know how much they have in it. Angie, put a starting bid out there for me, honey. He says 12, it's size 11, and Austrian crystals and stainless steel pre ring. And I have a $12 bid from Sammy. Brand new, still has got tags on it. Size 11. We'll sell the box with it. No, it's like. We're going to sell the box separately, Crystal says. No, I'm just fine. Let's kick it up. You said it was size 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure I'm right. All right. 12 is a good start, he said. All right, so I'm at $12 with Sammy. Looking for 13. Yeah, but Sammy, I bid five and I asked for a $15 starting bid, so he bid the 12 for the starting bid. And I caught that too. I think Sammy caught it too. I am at $12 looking for 13 going once. Thank you, for, thank you for your help, though. I'm at $12 looking for 13 Lord knows we can use all the help we can get That's sometimes. That's right. <laughs> T going twice. And I'm at $12 looking for 13 Third and final call. So, Sammy spot that ring for $12. That's a good deal on it, though. It really is. All right, let's do choice on some watches. They are prestige. Most of them have need batteries. Most of them are going to need batteries. And let me do one more. Where's the other watches? Oh. I said, let me do one more. Now I don't know what I did with the rest of them. Um, there they are. There's right over there. We had most of the jewelry Life's there. Like that baby trapped in here. Yeah, he's he's trying to catch us up tonight, I believe. Are these both women's? Which ones? Are men's? I mean, they're men's, I think. Um, they they could go almost either or. They're maybe unisex. You know, they're making a lot of watches unisex these days. All right, Crystal said they're unisex, so we're gonna go with I her. I think because the a man's watch band is usually bigger than that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Well, this kind of looks more feminine than. Yeah, that one. So we're going to do choice on these three. We need to give me a $5 start bid. What did they sell for the other night? Do you remember the watches? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can look it up real quick. I think it's right here in this drawer. Okay. It's in the middle drawer right in front of you. Um, right here is our invoice for that night. Okay. Oh, those were the, the different kind of watches. Yeah, they were the little like pocket watches. Okay. I believe they sell for $8 the other day. I will tell you in just moment let's i believe they were eight dollars the other day so let's do an eight dollar buy it now eight dollars first one says eight dollars bought the choice no, some of them went for three but we'll take a starting bid of uh five dollars yeah the smaller ones went for three the other ones went for eight you're correct right. Some of the watches right here, right, right there. Watch tail. White tail. White tail watches went for three dollars. Three dollars, okay. They were the little ones, but All then right. you had the bigger ones. So we're still gonna bid on it, y'all. We'll take a five dollar start bid. Okay. And uh, if, but if somebody gets up to eight, you can just buy it now for eight. Sammy Stinson said five dollars. Because we did sell them the other night for five for eight dollars the first night, so we'll. We'll do that again on the buy it now, but right now we're at five dollars with Sammy on choice. They're very nice watches. So he might get these a little cheaper. Looking for six dollars. I'm at five dollars with Sammy. Looking for six.
I'm at $5 looking for six going once. $5 looking for six twice. $5 looking for six. Third and final call. Sammy, which one would you like or would you like all three? I think he bought a gold one already. I don't think it's silver. Yeah, we got a gold one, a silver one, and a black and silver. Mm -hmm. They're all black beautiful. and gold. Black and gold? Mm -hmm. My bad. It'd be pretty if it was silver too, though. <laughs> All he wants them all. All of them. All right. I don't blame you there. Put this back in the box for me, darling. Yes, ma'am. And let's. I'm gonna. Well, no, I don't want to take. I was going to take the boxes together. That way they were all together, but I think I'm just going to leave them. Uh, let me see. I'm going to look at let's do one more item and have that be the last item mm -hmm. of the night. What mm -hmm. do we want to sell? I don't know. What would you like? Let's sell this plate. Watch that plate glass one down there. Um, I'm going to just stick a little piece of tape around these boxes. I don't think it'll. For the last item of the night, we're going to sell. This beautiful plate, it says, you've shown me the way, the Lord's way. You've shown me the Lord's way. You've taught me to pray and taught me to treasure each wonderful day. Very I beautiful. thank God, our Father, for your sweet, tender care and the times in my life when you've always been there. I love you, dear parents, for all that you are. May you shine on forever as heaven's bright stars. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful, especially if mom or dad one's in heaven. Gorgeous. I love to think my daddy isn't there. Um, I believe your daddy is there. What would we do without our parents, folks, or grandparents? It is a lot harder without them than with them. I, I had great grand. I had awesome grandparents and parents. I have awesome oh, parents. Bless I have a. I had good parents too. I had strict parents, but I had good parents. Family prayer is what brand? The prestige is the black one. This is a 2008 family prayer. The Black Watch is the prestige. Uh, Put it in the sink. Peaches. Do you have more of those? I think I might have one more. Okay. Okay. A couple more. All right. You know what you're doing. I was just trying to help. <laughs> there we go. And it does come with a stand. And I'm at $4 with Sammy Stinson. Comes with a stand. And I think it. I have a box for it too. I do have the stand. Comes with the stand, and I have a box, so it is brand new in the box. And if you buy it for your parents, you can have the box with it. <laughs> the black one is a prestige, peaches. I think she might be lagging on us a little. Might be buffering on her end. I'm at six dollars with Sammy Stinson. Very beautiful uh, poem. Awesome. And it's got a little bit of a manger scene in it. Got the Mother Mary with the Christ child. Got the Holy Ghost represented with a dove. Awesome. Awesome. I'm at six with Sammy Stinson. Peaches, I believe you might be buffering. Can you type in prestige on that keyboard, please? Mm -hmm. At Peaches. Yes, ma'am. I'm at six dollars with Sammy. I'm looking for seven. Oh, Going once. Sorry, it's okay. Nothing you just brought. Yeah, just split out my hand for a minute. Little fumble fingers. There we go. Uh, Angie got it. Thank you. Okay, so. thank you. Thank okay. you, Angie. I'm doing 100 things over here at once. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I am at $6 going twice. $6. Third and final call. Sell that to Sammy. Uh -huh. there, just, there is a box for that. We'll get it just a minute. Mm -hmm. All and right. It was $6, right? I said that was going to be last time of the night, but I forgot that she brought me this to sell. It does. And we're going to throw in at Easter. Give me that bunny. Mm -hmm. 
since it's Easter time, we're going to throw in the bunny rabbit. On this very last item of the night, you get your bunny rabbit and this blue enamel, or not enamel. It's like that. It's glass. Yeah. Black uh, people are buying. We're not sure what it is. It's like a casserole dish or something. Red bowl. I don't know. A red what? A bread. Like our bread. bread. Yeah, you could do a loaf in it. You mm -hmm. could do. It's this will. This is oven safe. I'm sure. Yeah. So we're gonna sell this. And the rabbit, and let's see what else we got that we can throw in here. Mm -hmm. Those coloring books? Mm -hmm. No, they're puzzles. Oh, give me one of them. They're veggie tail puzzles. Isn't that a puzzle? Or what yeah, is it? It is a puzzle. <laughs> okay, we'll come to that. <laughs> it's a little corny. Yeah. All right, let's see. What else we got? We got a, a dirty rag. I <laughs> you probably need to wash that. Uh -huh. Let's see, angels. All right. Okay. We're going to throw in a teddy bear. We need a dollar starting bid on this. Well, we've been on an hour and a half, and uh, we're just wearing people out if they if nobody's really wanting what we got. That'll work, Sammy. Got an angel. We're going to put her in there, or him, whatever it may be. She's <laughs> even got a little angel booty. And some cardinals. We're going to throw this in and we're going to call it the Easter. One dollar starting bid is what I need on this, folks. On all the what nots, brick and brack and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Peaches, did you catch up with us, honey? One dollar for landing. Looking for two. Going once. Last item of the night. Oh, grab that Jesus statue. I got one more thing to throw in there. <laughs> that is pretty. Though. This is like the statue in um, the uh, somewhere tropical. <laughs> I can't remember where it, but he looks overlooked. You guys know what I'm talking about. He stands on the rocks. This statue, same pose, stands on the rocks. So I got one dollar for all this. One money. Going once. Going twice. Sell that to Landon O'Neill for one dollar. Good deal there. Yep, we got rid of it. All right, y'all. Hey, Crystal's crafty, and I like to think that I am sometimes. So what we're going to do is pretty soon we're going to be doing a, a rednecking kind of <laughs> make repurpose things. We've got a bunch of vases, different things like that that we know that we can do something with. We're going to be um, repurposing them, thinking of some crafts to make. She's actually very crafty. We're, let me have those. While we're talking about this, we'll, uh, I'm going to break that stuff that he said right behind me. I know. We're going to have to box that up. Okay. She's made these. She will do things to order. You can personalize it. Yeah, look. Your last name. Here's her design for Christie's Place. Come over here so we can see it. Okay. <laughs> I can't see if I've got it up. Yep. You look good. And we could also do this with somebody's name, their last name, whatever. It could be smaller, it could be bigger. Yeah. Whatever color they want. She's very, wanted. very crafty. She drew that all of herself, all on her own. She made these. They're nifty, nifty, nifty. And she will make them to order. She's very reasonable. Probably a little on the cheap side. 
But every time the girl goes out, she drags something back with her. And she's I got, got some lattice. Held her. She's got lattice. She's got all kind of different things. Uh, she does. She sews. She can do quilting. Yeah, so do we're color. going to be doing some rednecking, craft along, talking, girl talk, jabbering, maybe some uh, slumber parties. And uh, we're definitely going to post some Bam Bam videos. And uh, <laughs> Bam, Bam Bam shook hands the other day. Hey, Bam Bam the deer. Uh, a friend of mine was out here and she said, you want to shake? And Bam Bam tried Try to shake. To yeah. Dog. And it was yeah. like, just like a dog. I'm telling you, she is a dog in deer clothes. She thinks she is a dog. So uh, we're going to post some more of those. We're going to do another auction. We'll shoot for um, Twilight's got one Wednesday night. Um, let's see. We'll try to do another one maybe Monday. We'll come back on Monday and, and just see what we got. See if we got anything. Y'all share between now and then. Let's get some subscribers going on. Give us some ideas of what y'all want to see. Remember, the more the more I sell all month, the more the drawing is going to be because we're going to give away a percentage of all of, our, all of my sales. So whatever I make, y'all are going to get a percentage of it is going to be in a giveaway. Um, and we'll figure out exactly what we're going to do about that between now and then um, and maybe give you some ideas. But so more people that's on here, the more stuff I sell, the more money you guys stand to win. And winning money is always great. Yep. Money is the best money. So, <laughs> exactly. Found money. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of found no, money. You got to tell them. Okay. Tell them. So, the other day, Crystal and I have not been hanging out very long. And uh, she, she's a great worker. And I praise God that he brought her into my life. But we're riding down. The, we find in my van that's got everything in it. An old wallet that was just that one. in yep. some junk that we had. So, she finds it and says, is this yours? Look in it. And I'm like, it's just an old wallet. There's a $5 bill in it. And I said, oh, real no good. Y'all put that in there. And I thought they did. And when they said they didn't we do it. Was, you know, with yeah. Her. And when they said they didn't do it, I said, well, thank you, Jesus. And all of a sudden, 25 more appeared, didn't Yeah, it, it was $30. So $30 in the, in the wallet. That, but the, God is good. But the, God is good all the time. But the 25 wasn't, didn't seem like it was in there until. And no, it didn't. It, it was just like, said God is good as it appeared. Yeah. And then, yeah. So then. Yesterday, we got some sewing stuff. Abby Jules, she loved that stuff. Her eyes lit up like a kid on Christmas. Yes, I, asked, I loved it. I asked her to remind us to get some egg timers. There were two of egg. There were two egg timers. We, we needed some tea light candles for oil burners. They were in there because God is good. And when Abby Jewel was packing the stuff to bring to us, God knew what we needed before we knew what we needed. And he sent it to us. Because if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all. These things will be added to you. Yep. Until next time, we thank y'all. Bye. Have a good evening. Good rest of your weekend. Stay safe. All right. Love one another. That's it. And stay healthy. Absolutely. Good job. Take All right. Stuff.